Ian Murray. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Can I just start by giving my congratulations to my right honourable friend, the member for Castleford, Normanton, and Pontefract, and the member for West Dorset for bringing us uh, this bill. And I was wasn't intending to speak this evening, but I was slightly shocked by the speech we heard from the member for Stone who started by saying that everything we were doing in this House was undemocratic and then went on to give us four or five examples that were clearly democratic examples that he was trying to make undemocratic. Uh, my honourable friend from Leeds Central said quite clearly, I, I, I will allow you in but one second, one second, the, my honourable friend from Leeds Central said quite clearly that how can it be a democratic outrage, in the words of the member for Stone, uh, to have uh, this House voting for a piece of legislation? and then the other place voting for a piece of legislation in the democratic fashion that we have always done for many, many hundreds of years. Yep. I have to give way. I am grateful to the honourable gentleman. Could I just point out to him that, in fact, the Referendum Act, which was passed in this House by six to one, deliberately and exclusively gave the right, by this sovereign act of Parliament, to the people themselves to make that decision. That was us giving the people the right to be able to make that decision. And now what they're doing and what you're doing, if I may say so to the honourable member, the honourable member, I said, to the honourable member, is trying to retrieve the decision from the British people. It is, that is totally undemocratic. Well, if the right honourable gentleman for Stone wants to intervene me again and tell me one promise that was made at the 2016 referendum that now stands as a promise today, I'll have to accept his argument. And we are only here, we are only here because his government and his Prime Minister have created the biggest mess in parliamentary history in a hung parliament, a parliament that was made hung by his very own Prime Minister gambling with a 33 majority and losing. Everything changed at the 2017 general election and the right honourable gentleman for Stone forgets it. And then he goes on to talk about it being undemocratic to hold European elections, undemocratic to ask the entire country to go to a polling station to vote <laughs> in a democratic election. That's the right of the people right across Europe by treaty for them to go to the polling booth and put their cross in a box. How can that be uh, undemocratic? And then the worst thing of all is how can it be undemocratic to try and prevent a no-deal scenario? This House has voted by a vast majority on at least three occasions to prevent a no-deal scenario. So it's perfectly democratic for this House to take charge of the business, to pass the very legislation, to ensure that a no-deal scenario does not happen. It's perfectly and utterly democratic. I'm happy to get away. Uh, I thank my honourable friend for giving way. And does he agree with me that during the referendum itself there was no word from those that were suggesting that we leave the European Union that we should leave without a deal and yes. plunge our economy yeah, yeah, yeah. on yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would, never, I would hate to quote uh, the Leave campaign, but I think uh, that Mr Hannan said himself that nobody was considering leaving the single market. Uh, and indeed, the whole campaign was predicated on a, the easiest trade deal in history, on 40 trade deals rolling over by the 29th of March, uh, on a Brexit dividend, on £350 million extra for our NHS. None of that has come to pass. So I thank my honourable friend for giving way. And would he agree with me that it is a sad indictment of where we reach when you have a, somebody who describes himself as a strong Brexiteer, Peter O'Bourne, at the weekend, yes. saying yes. that now we must swallow our pride yeah. and think again that he was one of the 17.4 million who voted for Brexit, but he has to admit that the Brexit project has gone sour, that it will make us poorer, and that it is time potentially now to think again. And it's not just Remainers. I think it is misplacing where the support is behind the bill that we are debating today. It is also Leavers that are saying this isn't what we voted for, this isn't the state of a nation that we recognise, and it's time for us to take a step back, not rush into a decision that we'll regret. Uh, and I'm grateful for that intervention. And actually, to coin another phrase from a former Secretary of State, a democracy fails to be a democracy if the people cannot change uh, their mind. And that's exactly what people uh, have been doing. And I'll finish with this. I thank the Honourable Gentleman for giving way. And in his speech, on a number of occasions, he's talked about hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of years of activity of this place, decisions of this place. Can he give me one example of when such an important constitutional bill such as this has been rammed through this House with less than four hours of debate? 
Actually, time is of the essence. So if I hadn't been put through this House in four hours of debate, it wouldn't have made it in time for the European Council uh, on Wednesday. So in actual fact, my right hon. Friend, the member for the uh, Castle for Northern Pontefract, should be thanked by the Prime Minister sure. for bringing this bill. Such and I can see my hon. Friends from the Scottish National Party uh, jumping up and down uh, because I said a democracy fails to be a democracy if the public aren't allowed to change their mind. Well, actually, the public of Scotland haven't changed their mind on independence. Yeah. Yeah. I know I've probably just um, I've probably just set the cat amongst the nationalist pigeons. So let me just uh, finish with this. What is undemocratic, Mr. Speaker? What is undemocratic? It's for members, and I've got a lot of respect for the Right Honourable Gentleman for Stone, because he's always held these views about the European Union, and we have to respect those views, we have to listen to those views, and we have to agree to disagree. So we will definitely do that. But what is undemocratic is for them to come to this House with amendments to a bill, to trash a bill that's democratically gone through this House, that's democratically gone through the other place, to democratically put into law the prevention of a no deal. That is what's undemocratic, which is why we should support the Lord's amendments this evening. Yeah.